saying, this video displays an extremely awesome card, so if you don't have it yet, you might buy more and more packs until you're finally broke. Be careful. Thank you, come again. What's up YouTube, it's Zapdoris TCG here, and uh, this episode will be about Reshiram EX. Of course, this card is from uh, our latest set, Next Destinies, uh, so is it playable? Well, of course it is, otherwise I wouldn't have made this episode in the first place. Uh, anyway, let's start off, there are uh, two versions available for Reshiram EX, uh, the regular one and the full art version. They both look pretty awesome, but I do prefer the full art version a bit more for this Pokemon. So, with an HP of 180 for a basic, you can start to complain, right? Well, uh, high HP comes with a downside, uh, yep, a 3 retreat cost that is one of the main things that keep this card down but as I said in the previous videos high retreat can easily be combined with heavy ball to work in your favor or maybe you can try Skyro bridge that way you can retreat with only a double Carlos energy uh, anyway let's uh, take a look at his attacks uh, the first one deals 50 damage for a fire and a double Carlos energy and then you flip a coin if hatch you deal an additional 30 damage which revolves into 80 damage if you have uh, a bit of luck on your side uh, but uh, that's not bad but the uh, second attack is way better it deals uh, 150 damage a massive amount of uh, damage for only two fighters and a double Carlos energy but the bad thing about that attack is you flip a coin and if it steals uh, you deal 50 damage to yourself so as I said the attack is powerful because you can uh, knock out stuff like Magnezone Prime, high HP basic that aren't uh, EX Pokemon and many more but it's also risky because if you deal 50 damage to yourself most EXs will uh, easily knock you out on the next turn that's why people might uh, want to run uh, EV Light in their deck to reduce that damage and survive for another turn or they might uh, want to consider uh, running Flip Teeny instead because Reshiram EX has all attacks uh, that are based on coin flips so uh, flip teeny will definitely help you out to survive a bit longer and uh, to deal more damage with your first attack so overall a pretty good card it has high hp uh, good attacks the only downsides i could think of uh, is the retreat cost which makes it a target for catcher and uh, the water weakness maybe but uh, not many water pokemon are uh, that popular at the moment in decks but uh, if people start to play more decks like reshiflosion or reshibor or kirami x might appear out of nowhere so look out for that uh, now let's check out the impact of reshiram x and the decks we used to know first up reshiflosion one of the most popular decks ever because there are all sorts of promo versions available for the deck and yeah before next destinies people tried out uh, all sorts of stuff like uh, adding plus powers rocky helmets and the stuff like that to get the damage count of uh, blue flare 120 damage usually a bit up because uh, there are many pokemon out there with more hp than 120 but now you can lower on those attack uh, cards or uh, plus powers and stuff because you can add more consistency because if you add one or two reshram yaxes your problem uh, with pokemon that have uh, more hp than 120 is fixed also this means you have a heavy hitter in your deck that can be set up in one turn yeah you heard me right because if you have uh, two uh, typhlosions out at the time and you have a reshram ex together with double carlos energy in your hand and you just drop reshram ex two afterburners from your typhlosions on the reshram ex giving them a double carlos energy and you can attack uh, 150 damage straight away so that's pretty useful and uh, next is reshibor this deck uh, uses the awesome ability of uh, ambor to get lots of energies into play and uh, to power up the reshrams of course and now this deck gains more power thanks to reshram ex and more consistent thanks to silent because this is one of the main decks that will run that supporter to get energies into play search your deck for three energies and then attach them right away with ambor uh, the ability pretty good and it's pretty fast imagine if you get an ambor out on turn two you might be able to deal 150 damage uh, really fast so uh, look out for that and i think that uh, many people will test this out because yeah it's just so obvious uh, ambor uh, fast and a uh, rush ram really powerful yeah it fits together perfectly uh, anyway this is it for uh, this week's uh, deck analysis and now let's go straight to poke new yeah, there isn't that much on my list uh, this time, but yeah, here we go. First up, our leak promos. If you're one of those people that goes to leaks often, uh, you'll uh, definitely want to know the new leak promos that are available. We have Zip Striker and Lightning Energy. Yeah, they aren't that useful, but yeah, if you like to collect uh, certain cards that are leak promos, uh, there you go. You just have to get those. And uh, to finish off, the Mewtwo EX Collection Box. You already know that it has been released, so uh, you should be getting one of those boxes in your local store or something that sells Pokemon cards. It's pretty uh, neat because you get a unique promo card called Battle City and it has uh, yeah some playability it has a uh, yeah, effect that you can flip a coin during your turn once and if it's head you can draw a card each player can do that it's a stadium card so it's uh, easy to get rid of uh, all the other stadium cards that your opponent has in play and can help you out in certain situations and uh, this card is only available in this box at the moment which means it isn't out in any set yet and it's really nice to collect it and to test it out also it comes with a giant jumbo card of Mewtwo EX a Mewtwo figurine and three boosters of the next 
Mary's Destiny set. So uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. Once again, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If uh, you did, click the like button. I always appreciate that. And if you have any questions, thoughts, epic new ideas, and uh, yeah, stuff like that, feel free to post them in the comment section. And for those of you that haven't subscribed yet, here's your chance. That way you'll stay tuned for the latest episodes, battle videos, booster openings, and the good stuff like that. And anyway, this was Sadhu's TCG. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. Till next time.